Hi, everyone. My name is Julie Jean Bassett. I'm an animal communicator, pet medium, and an energy healer. Uh, I specialize in animal behavioral issues. Um, I use a animal communication and energy healing techniques to resolve those. Um, right now, I'm running a special, an end of summer special. So use code EOS25 for 25% discount. This is good through August 31st, 2021. Um, so come check me out. My website is uh, juliejeanbassett.com and I also have a Facebook business page, facebook.com forward slash J Bassett Animal Communicator. So right now I've also been doing a series um, no. For animal I'm not sure I understand. Sorry. <laughs> um, a series on animal chakras because animal chakras are one of the major energy systems of our bodies and our animals' bodies. Um, when they're out of balance, they can lead to either health issues or behavioral issues. So check out my series uh, if you'd like to know more about me um, or would, if you'd like to know about my specials uh, as they come up, um, join my mailing list on my um, Facebook business page, or I'm sorry, on my website. That's uh, the best way to keep in touch and know when I'm running specials so you can take advantage. Um, the other major chakra or the major energy system that I work with is the meridian system. Um, it's used a lot in ancient Chinese, me or Chinese medicine. And um, the meridians of the body store a lot of old emotions. And if they aren't released, it can lead to health issues or behavioral issues. For instance, if there's a lot of... Um, Emotions stuck in the stomach meridian, it can lead to stomach ulcers or acid reflux or upset tummies, things like that. So check me out. And um, still waiting on my collar. Apparently there's some issues. Uh, getting in touch. So, um, you know, I grew up loving animals. I've always had animals. Um, I worked at a pet shop one time when I was in college and ended up adopting a few because I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> uh, and that's my parents loved animals too. And I think that's where I got a lot of my, uh, why I love animals so much. Uh, yes, that's fine. Thank you. I tell you, modern technology, when it works, it works great. When it doesn't, you know, sometimes I miss the good old days. <laughs> oh. So, um, yeah, I love helping people and their animals. Um, you know, our animals are part of our family. And so we grieve them as much as uh, a human when they die. So I do pet mediumship too. Um, so if you have a pet that you lost, uh, I can communicate with them and get you a message. It is incredibly healing. Uh, I've helped a lot. I've helped a lot of people um, with their 
animals. Um, I have a lot of um, testimonials on my website, if you'd care to check those out. Um, I've been doing this probably for about, I would say three years now. Um, and, you know, it's one of the best jobs in the world. I just love it. It gives me such um, satisfaction to be able to help animals and their humans um, have build a better bond and, you know, get, understand each other better. A lot of times animals just want to be able to communicate with us and for us to understand what their needs are. And that's where an animal communicator can come in. And, um, you know, that's why I also enjoy the energy healing because a lot of times, you know, they absorb all of our emotions and, um, you know, a lot of times they mirror us and they get sick just as we get sick. So let's see. Maybe I should pull a card for the group. So while we're waiting. So this is one of my uh, animal decks. It's by the animals, the spirit animal oracle by Clip Bear. Ah, okay. So Tanya. Yeah, I was going to pull pull a card while I was waiting, but now that you're on the line, let's let. How can I help you today? I want to general, I suppose, general reading. I'm sorry. Do you um, have a question? Oh, just about the the future. That's all. You know. Uh, I suppose about love, I suppose. Just about the future. That's all. Okay. Well, I can't really read the future because. Um, you know, things could oh, change. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can give you a general yeah. reading. Let me give it's you a general, a general reading. reading. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull a card because we're kind of running out of time. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, the card I pulled for, for you is a five card. That generally means a little bit of instability. Um, conflict, struggle, but it's also an opportunity for change. And I don't know if you can see the card, but you can catch it on the replay. It's called the Sacred Temple. Oh, okay. And the Sacred Temple is the Kachik Records. So let's see. Oh. So... You know, the card unveils your ultimate place of power and inspiration. The sacred temple is the seat of your soul and is always available to you as a source of peace, balance, and connection to spirit. You can access this wonderful place by meditating on your own heart. Your own heart center receiving this card upright is telling you it is time to do so. You are at a point in your life and in your personal power where you're able to open this holy vault and connect with the unlimited information contained therein. Whatever project you may be working on, whatever type of information you need, whether personal, spiritual, financial, medical, artistic, scientific, or any other topic, the answers you seek are available to you through the Akashic Records. When you connect with this powerful spiritual source, you will find all of the avenues of your life opening up with possibility. This card is telling you that you're ready. So take the time to enter the temple. Meditate, trust, and believe. You'll be amazed at the important energy and information you find there. Thank 
you. Thank you. And, um, you know, the Akashic Records will tell you about your past as well as your future. Um, you know, it, but it, yes. it won't yeah. necessarily mm -hmm. protect the future, but it will help you navigate and, you know, understand why you are the way you are and why things keep happening to you. Um, so if you can heal those different issues, it will um, help you to move forward along your path. Thank you. I understand. I understand. But yeah, that's a, that's a great card. And, uh, you know, it says you're, you can t connect. So make the intention to connect mm -hmm. with your Akashic Records next time you meditate and see what happens. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. now, Thank you so much for the message. You're, you're welcome. And sorry we have a had to shorten the reading because um, it took a while to get somebody okay. on. But but thank you for allowing me to do that for you. And I'm going to pull a quick card for the group that may be watching. Okay, it's Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. You know, things might not be going as quickly as you'd like, um, but that's okay because you're laying a solid foundation and a solid foundation will weather any storm. So enjoy, um, enjoy your evening. I thank y'all for coming and uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.